go look at my pawpaw tree. I am so excited. It's the first thing I'm doing. I just rolled out of bed. I just have to go look at it. Oh, I'm so excited. And I, I had to research last night. I called it a, um, when I was trotting around the yard yesterday, I called it a mango. But it's the mango pawpaw. I am so tickled. Oh, my goodness. Oh, now I'm, ooh, see, now I'm likely to keep things all cleaned up back here better. And I need to start watering it. You need water. Ooh, ooh, there's a slug. Ooh, get off my toe. Oh, oh my God. Ooh, a slimy slug. Ooh, nasty. But wait a minute. Here's my mango pawpaws. Look at that now this mango is not happy mango pawpaw what in the world is going on right here i need to cut back i guess probably that i need to come cut that today and i guess some of these little ones i should cut away yeah i need to get rid of that wow okay i guess all these little extra ones i could get rid of and just have that one I can do that. Now, this one. Oh, I better wait till winter time, I suppose. If there's a mango in there, I can't see it. But let me just look. I'm curious now. There's two in here. And I need to get rid of one of them, I think. Based on the photographs I saw last night. I gave up on my pawpaws. Look at all these things. I'm going to come in here. Oh, let me go get my clippers and come on back outside. I don't think you can... You, I heard nothing about propagating these and pulling these up. Oh, wow. But look at them. I don't see any in here. But maybe next year. This is my sunflower mango. That one shot up. It's huge. But I've heard... This is a mango one. These are the most prolific. However, does that look like a mango pawpaw? Well, we'll find out. Okay, I've done a little pruning around the pawpaw grove. So now this one, which I think is my sunflower, is one tree. I didn't know how it was supposed to look. So I've got it with one stalk. This one has one stalk. Let's just look. Let's just look with um, delight. Now, I don't know what that white stuff is. Now, I'm, I'm going to go show you my plum. This is either a Nethle or Santa Rosa plum. Look at those. And I think this one feels kind of soft. So, I'm going to Oh, it fell right into my hand. Okay, let me wipe some of the toxic rain on my little t-shirt. Maybe spit on it. Clean it up. Oh. <gasps> They've been writing and falling on the ground. Behind, oh, three of them. Mmm. Mmm. Juice just squirted out everywhere. Mmm. Mmm. It's dripping down my face. Mmm. 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 My. Y'all, look at that. Look at that pulp. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to need a shower. Mmm. Oh. Wow, that was so ripe. That was so ripe. Oh my goodness. Are you ripe? Not quite. Are you ripe? Okay, I'm gonna, oh, I, I'm gonna come out and start picking my blackberries. They say that when they're not shiny, and those are not shiny, that they're ripe. So, let me go get a bowl. I've got blueberries and blackberries. Look at all these. These are huge. Look at this. 
Look at how big that thing is. That is one huge blackberry. Let me go get a bowl. Oh, and then I want to record. I've got my Carlos grape. I don't know that that's a good eating grape. I'm not sure. I've had some Carlos wine, and I thought it was great, so I thought the grape would be good, but people don't seem to um, say that it's a great eating grape. I don't know, but it's a great pollinator. But I got these, Alachua, from one of the um, mail-order seed companies, and that's the one that survived because I planted the other ones before the blackberry frost. You might want to research what that is. I learned this year what it was. Lost a lot of stuff. Anyway, let me go finish up my coffee. Oh, it's just, oh, that pawpaw has made my weekend. What an exciting day. What excitement. Life is good. Okay. I always preach my garden lessons. So I might as well get this one on video while it's happening. Um, now, this is a red vein sorrel, and I planted it where it doesn't get beat down with sun, and it gets water. Notice the seeds it's making, okay? Now we're going to walk along, and I'm going to show you some that didn't get the water, and or maybe got too much sun, or both. Um, and you'll see, you'll see. And I, I guess another garden lesson is, this was my first year I had um, bird babies. Um, we, we had some disasters with um, Zsa Zsa the kitty cat doing her thing. And, um, but this was just one big loud chirp fest. And it was just beautiful because for years I've been hearing all the babies in other people's yards. And I had to deal with the fact that my my loved one is a predator oh but wait a minute we did walk well we walked i've mowed over those but here's some that do not get the water they need look they are not making babies no babies see no babies now maybe next year but it just goes to show if you give things the right environment it will thrive so, can't help it. I just have a garden philosophy about life. And yes, it does influence my pop. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Ow! I'm sorry. Ow! I just backed right into that. And what is that that I cut down? Whatever it is, it's got spike. Oh, it's my gumi, I think. No, what are you? Your spike. Oh. Oh. This is the, um... What was it? It was a nitrogen accumulator, and it was spreading through my food forest, so I chopped it down. Anyway, it's, oh, buckhorn. Buckhorn? Anyway, it's spiky. Ow.